Thank you to Fabric Mart for gifting me the fabric for this project. I can't pick my children. I can't choose. Okay, so we are doing another Olympian dress. I am super excited. This time it is Hephaestus. Admittedly, I don't know that much about Hephaestus other than the fact that he does like forge and ironwork and is like considered like the mechanical one of the Olympians. Probably should have done more research before just jumping into this project, but with what I knew of him, my first thought was steampunk. Like, do all the things, make it really cool. But when I started looking up steampunk inspiration, I was a little underwhelmed, not inspired. What's a different word for not inspired? That doesn't seem very eloquent. I'm not eloquent. In short, I just, I just wasn't feeling it. So I went in a completely different direction. I've been wanting to make a bustier type top for a while now, and I thought this would be a great project to do it with. I feel like this isn't quite the right angle. Is this better? Do I need to... Do, can you guys even tell a difference? Probably not. And I thought with like an asymmetrical design we could really lean into kind of like the Greek flowy toga feel. So that's when I came up with this design. Because I had a lot going on, I wanted to make sure that I didn't waste any time, so I found a free pattern online for this bustier style top. This allowed me to get straight into the mock-up. everything laid out the way that it needs to go together. I am not gonna lie, the technicality of this project is a little bit daunting, which is partly why we are doing a mock-up. Um, yeah. Um, I just need to stop making corsets. <laughs> That's what I need to do. need to do the cups but I put this on Claire just to give me an idea. I think it's too small because I had to like pull to get this closed and you can see that. If I was gonna lace this down that would be fine. I'm sure it would fit but because I want to put a zipper in it, it it can't be that tight. So I'm gonna do the cups and put those in and then I'm going to do a test fit to see if I can get myself into this thing and how much I need to add to be able to have a functional zipper. Okay, so I have the lining completely sewn together. I put some stuff to make these cups have a little bit more structure. I got a satin ribbon to make the boning channels. We're just gonna go straight over these seams and then one in the center front. I'm hoping this gives enough structure to the garment, but we'll see. I also need to dig up some underwire that I salvaged from a bra like years ago. So I need to find that. Anyway, we've got we've got lots of progress to make. I don't like it and I can't tell you why I don't like it. I think once I put the bones in we'll be okay, but it's just like rippling weird. I don't know. But the lining's in. We're gonna finish the top edge with bias tape. That I'm gonna make out of the fashion but like I said like I don't really like it and I can't tell you why I'm also just like sending up a prayer to the sewing gods that this actually fits because like I don't know if it will <laughs> I don't know if it'll like look good anyway if it doesn't then I will come up with another plan and change the silhouette a little bit, but uh, we're, we're gonna keep checking on. 
do you ever get really, really anxious and then you just think, oh, well, I'll just work through it and eventually I'll just like get through this whole project and I'll be less anxious. And so you keep working through it, but you only get more anxious because you're not happy with how the project is turning out. And you know, it's just not going according to plan and it's just, mm, it's not perfect. So, so, oh my gosh. Somewhere in all of that anxiety and mild panic and probably a manic on your way to a manic episode, um, your design brain suddenly kicks in and it's just like, no, this is what you need to do. And it's a much simpler design and it's much easier to sew and you already have all the patterns pre-made. <sighs> that is my morning. Hi, welcome. I'm a ball of anxiety, but I'm less anxious than I was an hour ago. I have a whole bunch of real life stuff going on right now. My to-do list for this week is like a mile long. This to-do list was made even longer when our kitchen flooded. So we're still in the middle of that whole mess. Anyway, thought I should let you guys know what's going on in my life. And getting this dress done on top of all of that has, it had me incredibly stressed, but I think I can get it to finishing work today if I push. So. I went downstairs and already cut out the circle skirts. We're gonna have one huge, beautiful circle skirt because you guys know me, I love flowy skirt. I love a puffy sleeve. We're not getting puffy sleeves. I don't know why I just said that. So I'm gonna be using the Artemis pattern. We are gonna be changing the neckline and we're not doing the cowl back. So I'm gonna like the illusion back piece and then the front bodice piece and then we're changing the neckline. Um, but it, it's already patterned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it right now. Okay, so I have the bodice cut. I'm gonna sew it all together real quick and then I'm gonna put it on Claire and that'll be our next update. Okay, so I got all of the bodice done. I got the skirt sewn and the skirt sewn on. I would show you, but I'm currently like hand sewing uh, the little bit that needs to be finished and hemmed. Uh, done a terrible job at filming this. So I have some detail work on the center front that needs to get done and then I need to cut the hem. Um, this fabric is kind of fantastic. I have been like roughing it up and not being too gentle and it's not fraying at all. So I'm just not gonna put hems on it. So I tried it on real quick and I'm not happy with it. I think I liked the neckline before I put the beads on so maybe I'll bring the beads down and see if I like them more. Um, but I definitely do think I want to hook an eye up here and then maybe just a giant keyhole. That's what I'm thinking? Maybe? Good morning. It's a Monday. I had a weekend. It was a fun, fantastic weekend. I'll like throw up two pictures. I basically went and showed off um, a big research project that I've been working on for a while and it was great. Um, but here, here's the here's the aftermath. I made some last minute jewelry so of course all of that is out. Everything I took to the event is currently like on my table. That's a mess. But I'm not going to worry about any of that today because today we are going to finish this Hephaestus dress. Uh, it has been percolating in the back of my mind for a while now. And as much as I really wanted that color and that whole look and vibe, what's in my head is not meeting my expectations in reality. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color off. We're gonna cut it into a v-neck and I am going to lower those beads until like the mid bust point. So we're gonna have a similar neckline to Artemis. It's going to look very visually similar to Artemis, uh, but it's, it's kind of still different. Okay, so I took the color off and I just, and the beads down and I just tucked it and this neckline is what I want. I have a stitch line running like right here I'm gonna take that out down to here, 
we're going to like rehem this neckline and I also forgot that I need to um, cut the hem so that way I can walk easily in this dress so I have just like a little little bit more left to do um, but I might get this done before the dry out crew for the kitchen comes which means that I will work on editing this video during the while well, the dry out crew is here so this looks almost like a liquid metal with like the metallic and how it's draping I don't know what metal is this color copper copper it doesn't have like gold red undertones though so maybe not copper I don't know um, but I'm gonna get to work so I'm gonna finish this neckline cut the hem we're gonna be good I swear the entire process of making this dress I just went from like one really well focused zone to another and unfortunately filming just wasn't part of my brain but okay so I have like 12 inches that I cut off the hem now that the dress is complete it is time for the photo shoot and I got some really awkward camera angles of me trying to do poses for you so let's roll those clips <laughs> for the record I would just like to say it is colder than I expected it to be and like this dress is not very warm. Also I couldn't find my adapter so I have like hair ties holding my phone to the tripod which is broken so. I don't like being on my own. I could use someone to hold and I've been trying to fill the void but my bed is getting cold because I don't have you. I don't have us at least not anymore. You had to go away just to figure out who you are And I'm in this empty house with your pictures on my wall But I don't have you, I don't have us, at least not anymore Now I'm just waiting for love, waiting for love Try to forget about you makes me restless Waiting for love, waiting for love I don't know what else I can do to be as chill as that turtle. Like, he does not care. This was a really fun project to work on and I think it just kind of goes to show that sometimes your great idea in the beginning that you're excited about doesn't work out and that's just fine because I feel like I ended up with a beautiful dress. If I had to rank these dresses in like my top favorites so far, no, because I feel like it needs, I feel like Artemis, I feel like Athena and Hephaestus, I don't, I, I can't pick my children, I can't choose, I like them all. Regardless, I am really excited to have another dress in the Olympian series done. We're, Artemis, Hades, Hades, Athena, Hephaestus, we're almost halfway done. And like, they just, they keep getting more creative. It's a thing. I'm enjoying the series, I hope you guys are too. Bye friends. If you would like to help with our kitchen rebuild, I do have a link to my pattern shop down below for all of my one size gridded patterns. They are on sale until the end of the month um, and I would greatly appreciate the help with the kitchen fund. 